CBS 42 is your local election headquarters, and we're now one week away from the high-profile race for the Alabama U.S. Senate seat. Republican candidate Roy Moore campaigning tonight down in Fairhope a day after receiving an endorsement from President Donald Trump. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle in our newsroom live tonight. And Stefan, Roy Moore campaigning tonight with a special guest, huh? Yeah, Jim, that's right. Uh, former Trump White House strategist Steve Bannon joined the former judge on the campaign trail for the first time since these allegations uh, surfaced. All this in an effort to keep that Senate seat Republican, but not without a shot at the establishment or Moore's Democratic opponent, Doug Jones. Are we going to let a bunch of elites that have pillared this country over the last 30 or 40 years, are we going to allow them to win? Packed in a barn house in Fairhope, former White House strategist Steve Bannon attacked establishment Republicans and Moore's opponent, Doug Jones. I can't believe this brother is running in the state of Alabama with this record. It's amazing. What planet are you on? Bannon attacked Jones's stance on guns, abortion, and immigration. He's trying to support, he's trying to avoid 20, 30 years of, uh, of backing the Clinton agenda. And here's what the Clinton agenda is. Moore came to the stage thankful for Bannon's words, acknowledging the exhaustion of the campaign amid allegations. You know, this has been a long and enduring campaign, very been, been very intense, uh, but we've got six days left. Less than a week before the election, Moore now has the backing of President Trump and the Republican National Party. And the people of Alabama are going to speak to the people in Washington, D.C. and across this nation what we're going to do in this country. We're going to bring it forward and quit sitting on our <laughs> chairs in Congress and get moving and make this country great again. Now, interesting note here, during Bannon, Steve Bannon's speech tonight, he took a lot of time criticizing the Republican National Party, who now fully endorses Moore in hopes that he keeps that seat Republican. Now, you remember, this is coming after they initially pulled their funding when these sexual misconduct allegations first came out. Live at the newsroom tonight, Stefan Diggle, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.